Greetings everyone, and great here from another H Pirates 4 replay. Spawn on the right side as the blue English with Dio Fonte Paniris. On the left side as the red Ultimates with Louis MT. When it comes to the economic benefits, the English do have access to the mill and their farms. The farms are half price. The mill does provide increased collection rate to anything with its sphere of influence. Very small sphere of influence. While the Ottomans do have access, rather than trying to collect the resources faster, they just decide to print out units uh, directly through the military school. When it comes to unique units in Feudal Age, the English do have access to the uh, one of what I consider one of the best Feudal Age units, the Feudal Age Man at Arms. And additionally, they also have a good Archer of Boot to go along with it, the Long Bowman, making them have a solid ground co uh, foot composition in Feudal Age. The Ottomans have two unique units. You got the Sapahi, the, a horseman that's stronger but more expensive, and the Metter. A or improving ben uh, you know, that provides a powerful benefits to anything around it. And without need of time to recharge like the con. When Minaret Metery is now being employed on field, which does give him access to four very bushes that can be clicked faster. This ultimately gives him four villagers to collect food very quickly without needing to venture out of the map. You have a good solid base of food income. House Hall not being plotted view, which is simply a times two archery range. Very useful. Because I all not only get archery range immediately, but you also get two of them immediately. Without needing to take time to collect with the 300 wood. House and lumber camp going on up. Looks like Blue has a good number of sheeple following him to victory. Red doesn't have as many sheeple to follow to him to battle. Seven sheep versus four. That's all almost complete. Twin minaret and metaries now also to put out. We do have the blacksmith flying field, which does give uh, the Ottoman access to faster production speed in its sphere of influence. And no military school just yet. Bahi now pushes way forward. Spahi pushing way forward. Got the scout here. The scout for him. He does not spot any military in his field, nor does he, uh, there are any, with our cast vision. He sees all the villagers on, on the stone, it does give an indication that his opponent is going for a second town center. He does use fortitude there for increased attack speed. And we do have... When the village drop off all their stone, they should have enough stone. Yeah, he does have enough stone to get a town center. He's going to build it right next to the gold deposit. Most time we see that deployed next to a deer. But, not this case. We had a Spahi and Archers right there. Town center is being built. These villages are going to take a hit. So his t the British town or the English town center does have two arrows rather than just one, providing a little bit more damage in this case. And now he's in a position where it's like he has to complete it. Wait. Going to take some hits there. English uh, villagers do have access to a basic bow attack. Similar to archers, same range, same damage, not the same rate of fire. The rate of fire is incredibly bad. At uh oh, oh yeah, that's the uh, network network castles there improving the attack speed a little bit more. Without the network castle, so its attack speed is like nearly four. It's like three point eight eight. With the nearby town servers, it does get to a bit more usable uh a little less than three seconds i do have some farms now being pulled on the field he's not going for deer that's not uncommon for the english they have their farming technologies and bonuses are very very powerful so they don't even have to venture onto the map so they can turtle up quite good got three spahi here and the scout two spahi are quite wounded Oh. 
Let's spot these units. He does go and pick up a sheeple there. He's going to lead him back to glory. Or at least to safety. There's a bunch of angry men with pointy sticks after him. And he does stab that sheep to death. You monster. We have now two mills here. One almost fully encased. The other one is not yet fully encased. I saw some term is actually probably enclosed, but that's, with, that's actually probably once he gets a research. The enclosures research in Pillar Age. That's why he are taking a bit of damage there. Has been cancelled. Farm has been cancelled there as well. Maybe I need to go on this side of the town center. Archer's trying to find a couple shots there. Does find a wounded villager. Very good. Going for another mill and going for more farms now. With two towns in the field, it may be a good idea for. He could probably go for the White Tower rather than for the. the called. Uh, King's Palace. He could go for the King's Palace for a second villager queue. Or going for the. White uh, Tower will allow him to get access to a stable queue immediately, or a siege workshop queue immediately, as well as defensive placement. Right now, the Autumn player does now have three town centers. His, since he knows aggression, Seed Spawn has not deployed out anything. He is able to be very aggressive in his town centers, so with two of them on the field, two extra ones, he will start surpassing his opponent. If one does go for the King's Palace, he will maintain the same village production queues. Okay, he's going to go for the White Tower here just for defense. He also has some sheep here he can always collect up and finish off. Ottoman player is now going for wheelbarrow. His opponent already has all of his basic economic tech research. And something I forgot. Let's take a switch up the Ottoman player and see what uh, Zir he has been. But then he went for Unfolding Hills, which is one of the few economic benefits he also does have, other than printing units for free. It is villagers increased mining speed by 15%, as well as spawn 8 sheeple boot. And now with the White Tower, he can pull out some knights. He's going to pull out a knight from the White Tower. One of the spotty do go down. Knight will be a hard to counter these units. Another knight now pulled on out. His opponent does have private resources to pop up. He'll likely go for the what's it called? Mahid Imperial Armory. The Istanbul Imperial uh, Imperial Istanbul Imperial Palace, I think it's called, is not that great in my opinion. And probably the fact that nobody really goes for it. It's very rare to see. Most people probably agree with me. We do got a couple monks deployed on out for the English as well. He's going to try to grain the letter, relics. And now we do have the Mahid Imperial Armory now being deployed on out. Village does go down. He does have access to another Vizier. Military school is pretty much standard. He does go for additional military schools. Military campus, I should say. And when it gets to the next age, you will have up to four military schools to employ on out. Oh. 
And for walls there. These knights are getting picked off. He has a couple hardened spearmen here as well. Three hardened spearmen now floating the field. And right now the English player does have a massive reserve of food. He's going straight for and fuel A. I am not sure what he's going to try to do with that. Hopefully he goes with the wine the Vineguard Palace. Because that's he doesn't need the Berkshire Castle. I think he should he is going for the Berkshire Castle. Going it right there. I think the Wine Guard Palace would probably be better for the bandit armies. And also less seen you know, of the two. People don't really make use of those uh, banner armies all too well. You get incredibly cheap uh, trebuchets. You can deploy out trebuchet for cheaper, but also comes with two spearmen, two crossbows. And the, the other units are quite handy as well, like the Wine Guard Rangers, which I believe are, which are longbowmen. We have uh, two additional range among longbowmen. And I don't think you have to go for the elite uh, research for the uh, longbowmen as well, so you can get out some elite, elite uh, longbowmen. As well as a uh, unique mana arms, so I forget what that mana arms variant did. This Berkshire Castle will be deployed and out, which will provide quite a bit of uh, defensive capabilities in this region. Got the Wololo there. Oh, he may get it. Just barely gets out of there, and now the monk will die. Monk goes down. Istanbul Observatory now being pulled on out, which does improve the production speed benefits from 40% to 60%. So you get a lot more free units. With that, as well as like all those military. I think at that point in time, each uh, military school will basically provide like. 300 resources per minute and with five of them on the field you can probably get a large amount of money from it fresh out castle case of good damage here to the spot he went down the metro will take a couple hits as well who has claimed two relics which is good Sherman, the minimal number you want to try for a game. I've got a pair of barracks on field. I am for armor clad research. I am for mass mana arms. English mana arms can get very, very resilient to all damage. When they're fully upgraded, I believe they get up to 10 10 armor. We now have a great bombard being deployed on the field, likely from the Mahid Imperial Armory. Yep. It will be deployed in about every 2 minutes 30 seconds, which is a long amount of time. In other words, let's see, 2,500 divide that by 5. And it's about 250 resources per minute it, the Mahid Imperial Armories will be providing. So, okay, it is infected by a simple observatory. It has, of course, a bigger radius around itself. Military school designed from Mass Sapahi. And arms generally win enforcement 1v1, but I don't think they'll win versus Sapahi 1v1. Though so English ones will have, of course, additional armor. Oh, we've got some English hand cannoneers. So it looks like I'm for hand cannon near mana arms. So while he does go down, he does have the range armor activated, giving him access to plus one range armor. Another one's on the way as well, being researched. Got two metros up here. He may want a little bit too many metros, but in that case, it's not easy to snipe. He also gone for a handful of crossbows. English tend to build for a large number of mana arms. He does have enclosure technology as well. 
and can use Wookie overran here. They'll just run full back. Berkshire Castle will reach out all the way over here. The Alphos will go down no problem. More hand cannoneers, more man arms being pulled out by the English. And once he's decided to push on forward, does he have siege engineers? He does not have siege engineers. Maganel, that's the one he got from the Menhaden Pure Armory. Monk will be stoned to death. Man arms trying to charge on the Maganel. Some more man arms trying to hit these villagers. And Blue's going to push his way forward. He's forcing his arm to fall back. This is a quite sizable army he's fighting against. The last of the Maganel, great pick there. So that pose a massive threat to his hand cannoneers. Man arms now trying to hit these villagers. Crossbows being over Rance, probably straight forward. And crossbows do go down. Great bombard has pulled a field, a 600 pounder done. And these villagers are pinned up in the trees and they will be sliced apart. Savahi so trying to overrun the hand cannoneers, so we'll get a couple heads there, but they will be hit being hit by the hand cannons themselves. Hand cannoneers love to shoot everything. And the range armor is probably not a good item against hand cannoneers. They just hit too hard. Unless there's some sort of exact math which they against hand cannoneers would be useful. Hand cannoneers, of course, will help travel versus the great bombard. And mana arms. He's going to get out some spring golds. We've got two spring golds queued on up. Why one from Berkshire Castle, one from the White Tower. Good hit there. Got a number of lances pulled on the field, which will be effective versus the mana arms. Not so much against the hand cannoneers if they maintain stay at range. Hand cannoneers ate another rock there. Outpost going up, trying to go for the network castles. He may have network citadels. Another hit there. A mining camp and a outpost now. There's the. Let's see, he does have network castles, no network citadels just yet. And so far, he only has gone for armor roost as well, so he's been getting a large amount of armor on these main arms right now. 9 9, they can get up to 10 10. It's a hit there. Sprinkles find good hits there on the Great Bombard. Great Bombard bon Bombard's being recruited up by some villagers now. His body trying to engage the Sprinkles. They Great Bombard stays alive, sending back on up once again. Gets a good hit there on the hand can nears. Lancers are being picked on off. Looks like some of them are a bit rigid. More spring golf hits in the Great Bombard. Again, repair it up once again. Man arms make its way forward. There's a good number of crossbows here to engage the men at arms. Elite Lancers have been pulled out. It's veteran Sapahi as well. He has another Vizier. Let's see what he's selected. He has advanced academies as well as faster training, and he has one more Vizier available. He could go for a trade bags. And I first put him to light game. That's his last Vizier. That's why he will be gunned down by the town centers. His outpost trying to be up fortified. He may just want to just go ahead and stop that from being the case. Lancer for 24 right now with 7 armor. These villagers are getting hit. Great Bombards pushing way forward. Mining camp getting hit by the Spring Golds. And we've got quite a bit of gold being claimed up here. Red season from Northern Gold Deposits. Got Southern Gold Deposit also in the Red Sphere of Influence. Blue's actually going to be running out of gold relatively soon. This is last gold deposit. 
This one's already been cleaned up entirely. Berkshire Castle does pick up that Lancer. So there's still plenty of the gold deposits and you can supplement some income but the enclosures. We do now have the network of citadels being researched. Mining camp goes down. No stone has been touched there. And that lance are still dead like that. Weird. Great on bars to get a bit damaged there. Spring golds getting hit by the great bombard. Great bombards do go down. Though loose frontline has been disintegrated by the mass crossbows. Right now they're doing 30 damage versus heavy, barring the minus potentially up to minus 10. Out from the uh, armor, and the outposts will go down. We also now have elite spa here researched. Great bombard or just bombard placements there from cannon placements from these towers. It's Bahi and Lancers now trying to hit some more of these villagers. Villagers over here collecting up some stone. And Blue has no more gold left to mine. He only has supplemental income from the enclosures. I may need to transition to some traders or longbows. Some of the so it's not fully dependent on gold or are able to provide that gold. Don't just start to go down there. So right now, blue out of gold. His his running out steam has veteran spearmen, kinky elite spearmen. Does take a bit of gold for that research. Nice force on use of weaker spearmen, which will be actually useful versus the spahi and okay versus the crossbows. Spahi gain nihilitic. Another great bombard push on four. We got two magnos right there. Does get a good hit there on those crossbows. Starting to push me forward. His man arms is. Uh, it still has a good number of there, pursuing some of these other units. Just bomb bar in place there. The villagers are engaged. Maven hit there. Got some spearing trying to stop them. More spearing being deployed on out. Alonso is firing away. Metro should go down shortly. Does go down. Berkshire Castle just out of range. Should soon be in range now. Not sure what the Berkshire Castle. There we go, the Berkshire Castle not firing. Those so advancing way forward or backwards. But now our crossbow spot here and Lancer still for the Ottoman player. Great bombards push way forward. Maganel's fire. It's a great hit there. Maganels do get a good hit there. Hand Kenyers firing away. Spot here trying to push forward, trying to get those Maganels. Crossbows are in smaller numbers now thanks to the Maganels. He does save both the Maganels, so I'm pushing way forward again. So that's been no Hand Kenyers. Villagers push on forward to repair up the Maganels now. Metro does get hit there. Battery rounds being cleaned up by the Lancers. Lancers are starting to go on down now. Great bombard. Firing some more shots at the Hank Candiers. I think there's a great bombard in placement there as well. Boy, now these forces getting whittled down. He needs something to take out the keep as soon as he can. Magnol is now getting hit by the keep. Great bombard range is 10. Which will outrange Maganel's. Maganel's uh, shots do outrange keeps. And his forces slowly looking little down. Great Bombard is able to hit the advancing Baron Rams as well. Get some significant down damage onto them. Spring Gulls engage. Spring Gulls fight straight forward. We'll find some uh, hand cannoneers and spearmen. 
Battery Ram's actually interrupting the movement of the Squahi to make one of the uh, Super Golds do go down, and Blue does back the game now. Unable to secure enough gold. This Andre is saying, take a watch and on to the next replay.